Well, the next time you go out to eat in Dunedin, you may notice a new charge on your bill. 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Chloe explains what the new service charge means for your wallet and why it's getting mixed reactions from both customers and workers. If your next meal out in Dunedin is at the living room, Saunders Social Room, or the Black Pearl, you'll notice a service charge on your bill. The way that the program works is there is a 20% service charge on every bill. Um, the server takes a flat commission rate um, of 15%. As the CEO of the Feinstein Group, Zach Feinstein manages those restaurants and switched up the pay scale for the service staff. Across the board, everyone is making more money in the front of the house. What's different for servers is their hourly pay goes from $8 to $1, and there is a 20% service charge on every bill. Servers take home 15% of that as commission. 5% goes to the bar and bussers. Normally, servers have to pay them up to 10% of their tips, but not under the service charge model. So now, in the new model, they leave with a 15% flat commission. They make a dollar an hour. However, they're earning, with their commission and additional gratuities and their base rate, they're earning between $35 and $55 an hour. With that, those in the kitchen earn higher wages. Dollar an hour wage for the server is how we're able to raise the wages for everyone in the kitchen. Feinstein believes this is a way to retain more employees because because he says unemployment and turnover are big challenges the service industry faces nationwide. How can we make the, the smallest impact to our guests and have the biggest benefit for our employees? His service solution is on your next check. In Dunedin, Shannon Clo, 10 Tampa Bay. Former employees of the group who were service workers sold Tampa Bay uh, off camera that they prefer being paid the way they used to be paid. They believe the hourly pay is too low. But Feinstein told us his current employees are making more money and happy with the change. Not